Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. Okay, so 58 quarter from Tuesday, big down day yesterday. They were able to get a negative reaction off of the FOMC and push that down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> there was still some bounce into the close, but what we're doing now is we're fighting over the green line. The green line is the 20 day simple moving average or the middle. Bollinger Band, so the middle point between these two yellow lines, which takes care of two standard deviations of price. So that's most of the price that the E mini or any any you know this is a this is a technical thing that you can put on any chart for for any stock or future or whatever. Two standard deviations of price trades inside those bands, and the way. The mini typically trades, although they never achieved it here. I had talked about how 65 was an open price for a while. Typically, they go upper band, middle band, lower band, lower band, middle band, upper band. We didn't do that. It came in shallow, and we're back to the middle band. So now we really got to wait and see if the bears have enough to get back down to here. This is the 50-day exponential moving average and the lower Bollinger Band. So on an hourly chart, we have a new pre-FOMC price. You can't really see it because it's locked up with weekly pivot. Uh, 2375 weekly pivot 24 even uh, and then you've got the nine day just underneath it there at 42 22 39 so you had a hard break off the fed they came back up into the close to retest all of this price and then you had a lower low in globex which was pretty impressive um, i was out of pocket for this part uh, but we caught a nice short and a nice long yesterday to end the day so right now, what you can see here is this green line. It's the same green line from the daily chart, the 20 day. They have been fighting over it basically all night long. It has been holding as resistance and you're just starting to see a move above it now, right into that hourly mid band at 4204. So today should be a very interesting day. It'll be a very interesting day relative to where they can close the tape. Um, above the green line or below the green line? Below the green line is your ideal bearish scenario, okay? If they can if they can defend the 20 day, they can get back towards here. If you're the bears though, you defended this yesterday, you can't give it up again. And ideally you don't go back. You push it, you break this low, and you start really getting into stuff with 41s on it. You keep the pressure on, you can't take the day off. Just because you had a good, what, three hours here? doesn't mean you can sit back today and say, well, we're all good. You're not good. You're the bears. You have to keep pressing. Um, it doesn't mean it has to be some cataclysmic 3% down day, but you need to defend the lines on the chart that you need to defend, starting with right here at 4204. So it'll be very interesting to see how it pans out. Uh, volume weighted average price right now is coming in at 41.96 half. Proprietary moving average 97.71. Your five minute mid is 41.99. 20-day simple, 42.01, um, and hourly mid, 42.04. So door number three, kind of, would be another day where we fight over 4,200. Very possible, not fun to watch, less fun to trade. Um, if they do it in a five-handle range, that'll be excruciating, and we probably won't trade much today. If they do it in a 20 or a 25-handle range, that's great range trade day. So we'll have to see how it pans out. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.